Hello friends, welcome to my channel. This is Charan. This is part 24 of Python tutorial course. In this tutorial, I will show you how to install the latest Django web framework for Python. If you are a first time visitor to my channel, please subscribe to get the latest updates. Before continuing this video series, I sincerely recommend please watch my previous Python tutorial course for beginners. At the end of this video tutorial, you will get the Python playlist video tutorial course. Now before installing the Django framework, let's open the command prompt, right click the mouse, run as administrator. Let's maximize this. Now before installing the Django web framework, make sure first install the python latest software if you don't know how to install the latest version of python at the end of this video tutorial you'll get the python playlist so let's continue the today's tutorial first let's check the what version python in my system just type python hyphen capital v which is a version see here we got the results python 3.7.4 version have installed now it's time to install the django web framework let's open the google.com type for django latest version download And from the search results, I'm selecting the download Django. And here the Django web framework website is open. The first thing, Django is available open source, which means anybody can download for free. We don't require any license to use this software. And we recommend using the latest version of Python 3. I already installed the version python 3.7.4 so once we got the latest version now we can install this django software so just use this command in your command prompt pip install this capital django double equals to the version I'm using 3.0.4 then click enter and see here they are collecting the Django packages and here the message successfully installed Django the version 3.0.4 with some other packages once we install the Django in our computer the next thing we need to create the project because when we want to create a web applications we need to require a folder so I'm creating a new folder in D drive right click the mouse open Windows Explorer I'm selecting the D drive. First, let me check how much space I have in these properties. So, we got plenty of room. Right click the mouse, new, create a new folder, and the folder name I'm giving Python Django is the project name. I'm creating a new Django project in this folder. Let's open this one right now this project is empty by accidentally I have closed the command prompt so I have opened the new one after I installed the Django web framework then I have created this Python Django folder to create the Django project so first let's change the directory cd cd then d colon 
Now in the D drive we have the folder called Python Django. Let's add that one. Change directory Python Django. Enter. And now let's add a project here. The command prompt is Django iPhone admin. start project and give the project name is my project is my project name click enter so notice here that my project is added successfully let's open the my project so notice here in the my project we have a subfolder called my project and below that we have the manage.py which is a python file let's open this my project folder and these are the python files are installed successfully in, in python django we have created the my project folder inside this my project we have the subfolder called my project now this manage.py this python file is used to run the server the Django server so let's run the server python manage this file name dot py space run server and I click enter oops here we got an error no such file ok we need to add the my project here the folder name my project so now I'm executing this command python manage.py run server click enter and here we don't have any issues the server our web browser server is this one so let's copy this URL and the command prompt edit mark let's copy this one edit copy now open the browser let's copy that server the port number is 8000 enter See here the web framework has opened successfully with this server the port 8000. We got a message the install worker successfully. If you notice here the control break when I click control C. So when I refresh the browser See here, it's refused to connect this site because because we are not running the server. Let's run the server again. Manage.py run server. Now let's reload the browser again. See the Django web framework has opened successfully. That's it.